Online marketplaces have become a very popular place for selling a variety of things, but law enforcement are warning the public to use caution when you do that. That's because you never know the intention of the person on the other side of the computer or phone screen that's making that deal. And News 19's Carmen Fuentes is joining us in our studio now with some tips to stay safe when you're buying or selling online. Carmen. Hey Kelly, Steve, one Huntsville woman recently tried selling a used iPhone on Facebook Marketplace and she says she arranged a meetup with the buyer, but something just felt off about the entire situation. Normally people try to bargain on Facebook Marketplace, which I was prepared for, but when he, when he stated he would pay the full price of the phone and then an additional 30 in, in gas money. After feeling that the transaction was just too good to be true, Hayden McNutt looked into who the buyer was. A combination of red flags, including concerning Facebook profile pictures, led her to cancel the meetup on Lynn Road in Huntsville. Four days after, Huntsville police reported a robbery around the corner. And according to HBD, a person posing as a seller on Facebook Marketplace pulled out a gun and demanded cash from the buyer once they arrived at their meetup address. Brent Patterson with the Madison County Sheriff's Office encourages buyers and sellers to meet in a public place during daylight hours, preferably somewhere that has surveillance. If they want to sell it or you want to sell it and it's that important to you, uh, there shouldn't be an issue with meeting somewhere in public. Many law enforcement agencies in the region have designated safe exchange locations set up for marketplace transactions. Patterson suggests meeting at a sheriff at the sheriff's office or HPD if you're in Madison County. And he says if something doesn't feel right, you should always trust your gut instinct. 